welcome to another unboxing video. Today's one is for Tonic's Christmas Magic Colour Trend, which is the second colour trend for 2022, and it is their kind of Christmas themed colour trend. Everything is in the sort of black and gold kind of realm of colours, um, but you don't just have to use it for Christmas. It It'll be really nice for like New Year's cards or Halloween as well. Lots of the black bits and pieces will be really good for your Halloween projects. Um, and it's also just nice kind of staple to have. There's some elements that are sort of like white with a little bit of gold. There's some that are more like antique gold. There's like bright gold. Um, there's black. There's black mixed with gold. So there's lots of variety in this colour trend that you can incorporate into um, other colour schemes as well. So... I'm going to try and make this video not as quite as long as some of my other colour trend videos are. Um, so I'm going to go through each of the products and I've got a little sample already dried of them. And then I haven't had a chance to do finished cards, but I think I've got two finished cards that were left over from um, when this colour trend was in a craft kit. And then I think I have nine... Um, that I've done just playing with them to create some different backgrounds so hopefully that will give you um, a little bit of an idea of how you might like to um, use some of these products as well and I'll explain like how I've done the backgrounds and everything so the first um, thing I'm going to run through are the gorgeous drops I really love these drops that they've come out with um, we've finally got a black stone drop I thought there'd already been a black one but we haven't had a black one it was a white one that we got before but we don't have a black so it's really nice to see that introduced into the range. So this is the black stone drop. And you can see that beautiful texture that a stone drop has. And if you watched my original stone drop videos, stone drops seem to come in like two finishes. One's like a gloss finish and one is like um, the metallic finish. So it's kind of like they've taken a colour of Nouveau Drop and put this texture stuff in it to give it that stone-like feel. So this looks to me like it's on the gloss sort of side. But when it has that texture on top of it, it's not really like a glossy drop. You do get that texture but it's been it's like the texture has been mixed in with the um the black gloss drop basically um to give this kind of a nouveau drop and this one is called inkwell black so um it's a really nice deep dark black colour and the stone drops come in this shape of a bottle they're kind of like a tapered sort of bottle and they have a much larger nozzle on them as well because of that texture that's in there um, you need a larger spout on the bottle to be able to get that out so that is your new stone drop colour which is the inkwell black then we have a new dream drop and I love this colour. It basically looks like it's just white but when you catch it in the light it's got gold mica in it to give it that dream drop kind of look but then when you put it on black that gold really pops. I think this might be the most dramatic um, dream drop that we've had. I mean cloud nine is quite dramatic with it being pink on black but I don't think it's quite as vibrant as this gold is onto black, so a really cool um, addition to the Dream Drop range that you can use um, onto white to give a subtle finish, or you can use it onto black to give that really dark gold colour, or... If you watched my um, kit unboxing video where we had a, a few elements from this colour trend in it, um, we've got the new dual dot markers coming up as well. You can do a dot of black, oh it's actually like graphite I think, uh, but you could do a dot of that dark colour and then put your um, dream drop over the top and you would get that dark um gold kind of colour then rather than having the white colour so you can definitely get around it if you don't want to work onto black card you can just draw a dot of black and then put your dream drop over the top as well so that is your new dream drop which is called golden shimmer um, really really beautiful I think I'm going to have to buy another couple of bottles of this because uh, I think we're going to go through that quite quickly really lovely for Christmas actually um, for using uh, for like snowy effects or just as little um, dots of snow falling in the background as well really really pretty that one the next one is really interesting this is a glitter drop but it's in a clear suspension but it has black and gold glitter in it so it's like, um, it's like uh, Christmas cheer if you had that one from years ago that's got green and red glitter in it. I think that's the only one that's had two colours of glitter in. 
it's the only one that's coming to mind um, but this is like the new version of that um, and funnily enough that was a Christmas colour as well so uh, it's it's uh, quite a, a nice kind of mixture to have a couple of tones of colours in a glitter drop for Christmassy or this really screamed like New Year's kind of cards I think the black and the gold together in a, like a confetti sort of form really and I've done different um sizes of the drop so you can see not every drop is going to be uniform with the same amount of black or gold glitter on top which is quite nice everything looks a little bit different and you can sort of smudge it out with your finger or smudge it over the top of a die cut or something just to get that sort of speckled look with the two colours of glitter on there as well and this one is called gold dust so really really gorgeous it looks lovely in the bottle as well really pretty that one so it's a clear suspension with gold and black glitter in there then the final drop in the new colour trend is a vintage drop but it's a metallic vintage drop and I'm pretty certain that this is the first ever metallic vintage drop so hopefully there'll be some more of these on the way um, because this is fantastic it gives that beautiful matte kind of finish but it's metallic as well so it's got that subtle kind of sheen to it you can really see it in the squished drop um it's really got that subtle metallic kind of finish to it but it's not really shiny like one of the actual metallic nouveau drops is um i don't think there is actually an antique -y kind of gold color in the um pearlescent nouveau drops anyway actually so it's a really nice color to add to the collection and this one is actually called um gilded gold so it really does give that gilded kind of look like an old gilded frame so really really pretty this one it doesn't look much in the bottle it looks a bit you know like dull but when you actually um make it into your drops and use it on a project it's really pretty and it's often um it's lovely to have a selection of different golds in your collection because you never know when you need a more orangey gold or when you need a more subdued kind of gold that's going to go with whatever cardstock you've got as well and the new gold mirror card from this collection works perfectly with this colour as well and you'll see a sample of that in one of the backgrounds that I've done later on too. So those are all of the new drops then you have already seen this um, and if you got the craft kit that had this colour trend in it you will already have a packet of this um, but it's fantastic this is the washi tape I love that we've got these glittery ones um, and I love that you can rip them as well they're just so easy to tear and you can not just tear them along the width to like tear a piece off you can tear them along the length as well and get really lovely little sparkly shards to add on to your cards as well and I have done um, a background just using the washi tape as well um, to give you an idea of how to use it there's so many ways of using washi tape you can um, create an entire background with it you could mix and match this with some of your other nouveau products like your embossing powders your glitter your confettis and stuff like that you can put this over the top of a pattern paper to add like um, a sparkly stripe across the pattern paper. You can use it to decorate panels that you would then put onto boxes. You can do little fold over pieces that could be like a little tab in a memory book to like hold pieces together. There's so many different ways of using your washi tapes. Um, you can edge pieces with it as well. You can add it over the edge of something, maybe even to add a tip in into a memory book or something as well. And if you're ever unsure about the stickiness of your washi tape, tape just um, a glue stick on the back of it will really help or if it's one that you can't see through like one of these glittery ones you can just use a strip of double-sided tape underneath it um, and then you know that it's not going to go anywhere and if it is being used to like hold a page in place or you know hold something important in place that you don't want to get lost um, just adding a little bit of extra tape under there will just make sure you know that it's not going to go anywhere but in this packet we've got three different rolls and there is five meters on each of them and they are 15 millimeter width so a decent width kind of um, washi tape and they are called Christmas magic because they go along with this color trend but really really lovely and I, I'm pretty sure I showed a couple of ideas in that kit video as well on how to use them the next item which we also saw a sneak peek of in the craft kit with this colour trend is the mica mist and this is called pearled ivory and you can see it's a slightly yellow kind of solution but it has a really light 
um, ivory coloured mica in it so when you want to use it you just want to make sure it's all shaken up into solution and it doesn't look like yellow with the mica at the bottom it looks like it's all mixed in together um, this gives a fantastic sort of sheen effect over the top of any cardstock you can use it on your patterned papers as well it will slightly obliterate some of the design but that speckled pattern looks really cool on your pattern papers and I'll show you an example of that later on as well you can watercolour with this you can unscrew the top and just use the uptake tube to tap it onto your project as well um, you can also buy replacement tops for these bottles now they're really reasonable as well I think you get two and it's only like $1.99 maybe $2.99 for two replacement lids so if you do forget to clean one out and then come back to it and it's clogged up you can get a replacement and you can also use your mica mist in conjunction with lots of other Nouveau products as well so you know I like to do my squishy kind of backgrounds I didn't do any for this color trend actually because I show up I show that quite a lot um, but you can definitely like squeeze on some of your Nouveau drops spray a little bit of mica mist on there uh, maybe add in some mousse or glacier paste or something else as well um, and create some really cool squishy kind of backgrounds too so a really versatile product the mica mist it just gives a lovely um, shimmery effect to your projects and a little sample of that sprayed out is here it's a really lovely subtle uh, pearled ivory colour so really really pretty that one and I've done a little sample of each of the washi tapes as well but yeah a really lovely subtle colour that one then another item that you have already seen if you have that craft kit are the brand new dual dot markers and I, I think I went into more detail in that unboxing video showing the two different ends to the pens you've got a fat end that works really nicely to create the perfect dot straight away and you also have a finer end to do writing to add doodles to things um, and you know all sorts of different ideas that you can do with any kind of metallic pen and I was also saying in that video um, if you loved the Nouveau alcohol pens and maybe had the original collection and wondered like why there weren't any metallic pens in the new style of pen this is kind of like the, the supreme metallic version uh, for the to go with the new alcohol pens basically so instead of having the uh, brush tip on those supreme metallic ones you've now got the uh, dotty markers and the finer nibs as well and these are really great for adding that doodled kind of detail um, onto patterned papers or just straight onto your cards as well and combining these with some of the confetti looks fantastic as well and I have got a sample later on to show you with that too um, here's my little swatch sheet that I did with these pens when um, I showed them in my kit video so I've just sort of shown how you can write with them doodle with them tiny dots with the finer end and you can go from larger to smaller dots with that big dot end as well and the names of the pens if you wanted to know the colors they are empire gold black pearl and platinum gold as well so a really lovely selection of colors this uh, platinum gold goes really nicely with that like pearled sort of color here then you've got um, the deeper gold that goes really lovely with the vintage drops and some of the confetti and then you've got that gorgeous black pearl which goes with any of the black items and can also be used with your dream drops over the top to show the other colour that a dream drop shows as well so you'll get that gorgeous gold tone with the new dream drop then I wanted to go through the pure sheen items in this collection so I'll run through them first then I'll show you the samples so we have three of these bottles um, if you had the craft kit you will have also had gold sequins as well but these are the three that are actually part of the colour trend we have got the golden stars which are really cute tiny little golden stars I'm sure these are the, the smallest stars we've had or they're the same no, they're the same size as the original turquoise stars um, that came out forever ago now in one of the original sets of confetti. They're that kind of tiny size. If you had those ones, um, you'll know what I mean about the size of those. Then we also have the stardust glitter, which in the bottle... Okay, it doesn't on camera, actually. To, from my angle in the bottle it looks like it's a really deep um, green kind of colour but I reckon it's maybe the gold reflecting off of the glitter I'll show you samples of it as well to try and show you um, like everything that it reflects but 
I guess you can, yeah, you can kind of see that little bit of a, it almost looks green, but I think it is because of the gold and the, the black kind of mixing together, you get that almost green kind of look to it, but really gorgeous glitter actually. I wasn't sure if it would show up differently on black and white, but it does actually show pretty much identical on black and white. And then my favourite from the entire colour trend, I've already ordered three more bottles of these, because I know I'm going to love them, and uh, I totally regret not getting more of the... Um, ice white circles from one of the original releases because I love them so much and this is like the amped up version of the ice white circles because these are called iridescent circles so they have that beautiful iridescent finish to them but there's multiple sizes in there there's three different sizes of circle confetti so not just the one size we've got three completely different sizes actually they're they're the same size as three different confettis we've had in collections. We've had that tiny size before, those almost highlighter orange um, ones were that tiny size. Then the middle size is kind of like the generic size for them. And then the large size, we had some pink ones in the Tropical Paradise color trend that were that largest size as well. So it's a really lovely selection of three fantastic sizes of um, circular confetti and I just love it so much and the great thing about this one is you might think why why have they put a clear iridescent that's showing um, like pinks and greens in with a black and gold colour trend but if you put that on black or even if you uh, drop one onto your black mat it's gold when you put it on black it goes gold so you've got that really cool um, versatile factor about them that they're actually a gorgeous clear effect that will be a really subtle kind of finish on any card but if you put them on black they go gold so you've got like two in one basically it's basically like having a pot of clear confetti and a pot of gold confetti as well so you can use it in whatever way you like and um, as I was saying with the dream drops about using your dot marker to put a dot first you could do a dot first um, with one of your dot markers and then stick a bit of this confetti over the top and I kind of show that in one of my samples later as well so really really cool and I love that you get all of the different sizes in there as well and they're really easy to stick down with your little Nouveau um, embellishment tool too then this is the gorgeous glitter which is the stardust and you can I don't think it does look green now when you actually have it out of the bottle it looks black and then it's got a little bit of a hint of gold in there as well and it does look the same on black and white and then we have those beautiful tiny little stars as well that you can use in a big clump or a cluster like that but you can also place them individually as well for a really subtle kind of look so so I really love all of those confettis but that um iridescent circle one is my absolute favorite so so pretty I think I'm going to be easily getting through those three pots that I've already ordered as well so really really gorgeous love that one and um, then the next item to show you is the new glacier paste so we've now got a black glacier paste we've had a white one before and we've had a really dark blue one I'm pretty sure the iron frost was a really dark blue color yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. The Iron Frost is a really dark blue, but now we actually have a pure black glacier paste as well, which is fantastic. And and this one is called After Midnight. So if you're a Ranger fan, don't get it confused with the After Midnight Dilution Spray, which is a really dark blue. This is actually a black colour, this After Midnight, but really, really gorgeous glacier paste colour. You can do so many things with your glacier paste, but having it in a black form... Um, it's so like rich and vibrant. You hardly need any of it to like stencil through something um, or to maybe water down and splatter as well. So it's really nice to have the black and you can actually add a tiny bit of black to any of your other colors to make them a more muted tone as well if you want to, um, so, like you would with the white. You can make it a lighter tone with the white. Um, you can definitely use a teeny bit of black to deepen up some of the tones of the other glacier paste that you have as well and here is a little sample of that glacier paste so really really pretty it's got that silvery um or like white gold kind of sparkle in there but really really gorgeous again perfect for halloween i mean if you don't get any of the cardstock that's in this color trend but you get the glacier paste you can go to town with sheets and sheets and sheets of black cardstock and um give them that beautiful pearlescent or um almost like 
shards of mica kind of finish to the cardstock as well. So that is your glacier paste and then finally the last three items from the colour trend are um, two brand new embossing powders. You will have seen the golden egg which is this one in the colour trend. We had a small little tester pot of golden egg but we've now also got another one which is called carbon sparkle and they look similar in the pot but this one is gold like a gold base so the fine powder in this one is gold but the fine powder in this one is black so they are both like mixed media -y kind of embossing powders because they have a fine powder um, which is like their base colour but then they also have particles of other colours in there as well so the golden egg has a gold base to it but it has black and white chunks of like a, a thicker grade embossing powder in there and then the carbon sparkle has the fine grade of black but also has the larger chunks of gold in there so they both give different effects um, and they're really fun to play with as well and I was actually in one of my samples that I've done playing with applying them with glue rather than your clear mark because the trouble is with applying it with your clear mark the fine particles want to stick perfectly to the clear mark because that's what they're used to but the larger particles the clear mark isn't strong enough to hold those larger particles on so um, when you tip off your excess powder all of the large particles tend to go with it um, so you've kind of just got that base colour so then you kind of have to go back in and sprinkle some of the larger particles on top and then you've got to remember to only heat from underneath because if you heat from on top all of the large particles are going to blow off so if you use glue the glue is strong enough to hold all of the sized particles together and it's also strong enough to hold the particles in place whilst you are heating it as well so it's a really cool way of actually um, making it less fuss or you know less hassle to um, kind of heat emboss these kind of powders with those larger particles in there as well so I'll show you that sample when I get to it too but these two samples here are just with the clear mark um, ink pads so this is the carbon sparkle and you've got that black in the background with the gold on top and the way I did this was I took the small little cube went along there sprinkled it on tipped off the excess it was mostly just black so then I put the excess back in the pot and I just tapped gently like this and those larger particles just gently dropped out on top and then you just heat from underneath and you'll get that beautiful speckled kind of effect and then this is the um, golden egg that we've seen in the tonic craft kit as well and this has got that gold base and then again you can tap the pot to get those larger particles out and there's a few white ones and black ones in there to give that kind of speckled golden egg kind of a look and then we have the final Nouveau product in the new colour trend and this is a Nouveau expanding mousse which is black so we have tricorn black so you've got a lovely deep dark black expanding mousse that again like I said with the glacier paste you could take a tiny bit of this and mix it in with your other colours to make a sort of uh, muted tone of them as well or just having black is fantastic because it's virtually impossible to try and make one of the lighter colours black without changing the consistency of your expanding mousse like if you added aquaflow you'd have to add so much aquaflow that it would be too runny a consistency or if you use your shimmer powders you have to add so much shimmer powder that it would change the consistency in the opposite direction so actually having a black expanding mousse is fantastic and this one is really nice to play with um, and it's got a really gorgeous texture to it as well um, it's really nice and juicy in there so it should stay nice and wet for a long time um, and I did a little swatch here and I experimented with it. So you know I love to do uh, what I call my Nouveau encrusted expanding mousse where I put any Nouveau products in the mousse and then heat it up. So I did a test with the glitter and the glitter works fantastically. I did a test with the stars, the stars work fantastically. I did a test with the iridescent confetti not as good because I, I mentioned this in a, I think it was a kit video a while ago, um, it seems to be that whatever they make confetti out of that gives it that AB finish, it's not heat stable because every time I try and use a confetti that has that Aurora Borealis kind of finish to it, it always melts. So it doesn't like completely melt and obliterate, it kind of just makes little sort of 
convexed or concave little domey pieces um, which gives a cool look as well but it's just not like 100% really good result because they aren't quite heat stable they did want to melt a little bit as I was um, puffing up the expanding mousse um, but the other two products that work fantastically are the two embossing powders both of them look really cool so you can go with um, the carbon sparkle and you know like cover up the black mousse with the black powder and then the sprinkles of um, the gold in there or you can go with the um, golden egg and go with like a gold finish over the top of it in that case you could really use like any of your expanding mousses really um, but they both give really cool effects I love using embossing powders on top of expanding mousses because anything that you already have to heat will work perfectly on top of a mousse that you need to heat to get that expanded look um, and then right in the center is just the expanding mousse and uh, the gorgeous kind of effect that that has as well. You can see down here where it's thinner that it's um, a slight pearlescent kind of finish to the mousse but when you expand it it does um, that pearlescent finish kind of goes away so if you want to get that back again you can put your finger in your pot and uh, swipe over the top um, and it will catch like all of the raised areas and give it back that sort of metallic finish but I really like that matte look actually I think it looks fantastic and as, as I was looking at this sample after I'd finished it, I was thinking, wouldn't that look fantastic as a galaxy? Because it's black and it's got all of those like textures to it, it kind of gives extra like depth and dimension. And then with the stars as well, I just thought I'm going to have to try that as a galaxy. So the first background that I've got to show you is a kind of take on a galaxy using that expanding mousse. Um, so the edges of this are quite rough because I was thinking maybe cut a frame um, and have a frame around the edge of the card so you just sort of were zoning in on the galaxy and then to create that galaxy kind of effect with all of those colours in there I was using my Nouveau Shimmer Powders so we didn't get Shimmer Powder in this colour trend so I went through my stash and picked out some lovely bright colours so I was using Falling Leaves, Blue Blitz, uh, Violet Brocade and Cherry Bomb these three are originals and I think this one came out in the Woodland Walk colour trend a while ago um, so really gorgeous colours to use in the galaxy and all I did was just tap a little bit of it over the top of the expanding mousse so I took the uh, one of the Nouveau spatulas in my expanding mousse and like swiped it across the card you could definitely have done this onto black card as well if you wanted to then it wouldn't look quite so messy around the edges and um, doing it onto the black card but you swipe all of that across there you do little taps of your different colors to get them going across the background then I took some water just did a couple of light mists quite far away actually um, so it's not making the mousse really wet it's just kind of activating those um, Nouveau Shimmer Powders then I sprinkled in some of the star confetti and then I heated it and then you got this beautiful textured galaxy kind of a look to your background I just thought it was a cool idea and if you had either of the uh, stamp clubs it was shoot for the moon and shoot for the stars then you could use any of those kind of elements that you had from there within this or you could use your uh, little monsters stamp club and turn them into aliens and have aliens in space as well so I thought that was a cool idea to show you that's the only one where I've drifted from the black and gold color trend adding in those extra colors but you could definitely just do it with gold if you wanted to as well actually it would look really cool just with the gold shimmer powder on top so that's that one then I just wanted to show how you can spritz your patterned papers with your gorgeous mica mist. So this is more of like an all over kind of spray, some larger splotches on there but lovely small little splatter. You can see how at some angles it kind of obliterates the pattern but in other angles it just gives that beautiful pearlescent sheen to your patterned paper. And then I did a different one as well in exactly the same way and ripped it down the edges so you could see how you can kind of layer these up. Whether they are both on the same card or you use the background on one and the strip on another card but I thought I'd show you that. Then this one is using my favourite confetti plus the stars and also my favourite of the new drops which is the dream drop. So again I took the trusted Nouveau spatula and I just 
put some of the dream drops onto the spatula, scraped it across the card a few times and then just sprinkled the confetti in and it just gives a really lovely subtle background that you could just place a stamped image over there that you've coloured in, um, a die cut, you could even just add a sentiment. I think that would make a really cool wedding card actually, a um, really simple kind of wedding card or a New Year's card as well. So really really simple and pretty kind of card for quick and simple ideas. Then the next one is using your dot markers, your two confettis and also that gold and black um, glitter drop as well. So all I did to, to start with with this one is I took the thick end of the black pearl uh, pen and I did these thick stripes so a few strokes of the pen to get the thick stripes then I did this zigzag with the fine end of the gold and then I did this um, sort of dot pattern with the fine end of the gold so I did a big circle little circle big circle little circle all the way along then I came back in and accented it with the confetti so I used um, tiny little dots of glue which I should tell you about this now um, the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, you can now get your fine tip nozzles to go on top of them and they work on all of your Dream Drops, your Nouveau Drops as well. I, I've done a whole video explaining all of the different drops they work on and, and everything. But you've actually got this fine tip nozzle, so for a tiny little star confetti like this, you can add the teeniest little drop of glue and then put your confetti straight on the top as well. So I've done that with the stars along the black and then on here, instead of putting that um, the clear confetti onto black, I've just put it onto that gold and it's still shining gold then as well. It gives a different shade of gold to the um, star confetti or to the pen as well, but it just adds that beautiful shiny kind of a finish. Um, I think on like a dream catcher card or something, these large confetti circles would look fantastic. It's quite, it kind of reminds me of some kind of dream catcher, um, those circles with the smaller circles inside them. And then to finish it off, I thought it was a little bit empty, so I just took the, what's it called, gold dust um, glitter drop and did stripes of that to fill in the rest of the design. And I really like how that turned out. When I first started it, I was thinking, oh, I don't know if this is going to look very good. But I do really like how it turned out. It's very, like, um, doodly and, like, whimsical kind of a background. And I love that sparkle that you've got in there as well with the confetti. So that is that background. Then I wanted to show how perfectly your vintage drop goes with your uh, metallic cardstock from this colour trend, which I will show you after I've shown these samples. Um, so that is your new Venetian gold mirror card, but the pattern on top of that is taking uh, one of the Nouveau ink blending tools, these kind of ones with a foam on the top, and squeezing some of your vintage drops out, uh, applying that to your foam and then putting it through a stencil and it gives you that matte effect in the pattern but you've still got the shiny effect in the background and I really love how that turned out it's a really such a simple technique but gives a really cool kind of effect so that is that one then, um, talking about those fine tip nozzles, you can put these onto your Nouveau Drops. So I put one temporarily and then switched it back onto a different one on top of my brand new um, Golden Shimmer Dream Drop. And then I took a piece of the heart cardstock and I did tiny little dream drop dots between each of the hearts. And look how perfectly uniform you can get them with that fine tip nozzle. It's so beautiful and so easy to do as well. It really is easy with that um, fine tip applicator. And because I've gone on to the black, you've got that gold effect from the mica in those dream drops as well. So another way of like um, adding extra detail onto your pattern papers or your cardstock and this could have been glue and then you stuck a tiny little confetti on there as well it doesn't have to be one of your drops you can definitely just do it with glue and confetti too if you want to so that's that one this one didn't quite come out how I expected I thought there would be a more noticeable difference but I wanted to see what the glacier paste looked like through a stencil onto one of the cardstocks and I think this one is the Cosmic Vista, I think. I'll tell you the proper names afterwards, but I think that's the Cosmic Vista. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and stencil with the Glacier Paste, and I also brought in some of the Stone Drops as well. So I think the Stone Drops give a better kind of finish. I could have done the whole thing with the Stone Drops, because the Glacier Paste, I think it's too similar of a black to the background. It didn't show up as much as I wanted it to, but if I wanted to 
um, enhance this pattern detail, I could take the same stencil, now it's dry, replace it back over the top and use the fine end of one of those dot markers to draw around the detail as well um, and it would really pick out the pattern. So I thought I'd just show you that even though it was a little bit of a fail and I, you know, I could do something else to make it look a bit better. Um, but I thought that would be uh, a cool start to a background. Then I've done this really quick and simple one just using the washi tape. So I wanted to show you just one idea just using washi tape and how all you can do is take little tiny bits, just rip them, no need to have any scissors, just rip them into little weird shaped rectangles, they don't have to be the same length, um, it, you don't even have to follow the same pattern or order um, of the different colours as well, you can go, um, you know, spotty gold black and then you can change up the order, like there it's gone spotty uh, black spotty, um, so you can really just play around with wherever you place all of these different bits of um, washi tape, but I thought it, it makes a really simple kind of background that you might not think to do, um, So and it doesn't use up much washi tape either, it's probably like, I don't know, maximum 15-20 centimetres of each, so you know really doesn't use up that much and it makes a really cool quick background as well and you could use it in whatever orientation you want you could just do one strip of it so there's loads of ways of kind of using this you could even die cut this into a shape and then use that on a card as well so um just a really really quick idea there then um Embossing powder wise this was the golden egg this was one of the cards I made in the um kit video where I had just used the clear mark ink pad, swiped it across some of the Starlit Sky cardstock and then used the golden egg um, embossing powder over the top of it. I love that kind of effect. I think this was one of my favourite cards that I made with that kit and it just gives such a simple look and having um, these die cut circles and the confetti or the sequins in this case coming out but those star confettis or the um, circle confettis like I've got one here would look just as beautiful scattered across the background as well um, it just looks so lovely and it's so easy and quick to do as well and now you have that carbon sparkle that you could do it with as well which would give a slightly different sort of effect you could even start with um, one of the goldier coloured patterned papers maybe and put this over the top of it so another quick idea with the embossing powders and then the main idea that I wanted to show you is how you can use the embossing powders with glue so I took um, one of these tools it was actually the same one that I had been using the um the gold drops with and also the glacier paste and the stone drops and then I moved on to using it with glue as well so and it's still actually soft so I could still use it for other things as well but you could definitely rinse this out and keep using it for other things you know clean rather than leaving it dirty um, but I just took some of the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive squirted it into here sort of squished it in on my mat and then just did circles I did a few first and did them in one colour and then I did a few more and did them in the other colour and because it's glue it holds holds on to all of those larger little particles so you don't have to go back in and sprinkle some extra ones on top and you could heat it from the top as well and I think finishing this one off um, a few scatters of the confetti maybe a few um, of the vintage drops or the sparkly drops would look really nice in here maybe even the dream drops to make it a little bit subtle or possibly even drawing circles with those dot pens as well um, to finish that one off but again I think that would make a really good New Year's card you could even put little triangles at the bottom and make it look like balloons as well they almost look like those balloons that are full of confetti actually you know they have like the confetti inside them and you can blow them up so um, that kind of idea would work for that as well then um, I almost forgot to show you them I will show you the patent papers and the cardstock and then I've got a couple of other samples showing um, how you can use some of the patent papers and cardstock as well so you will have already seen all of these in the tonic craft kit um, if you have that craft kit you will have this pattern paper and you will have one sheet of each of the cardstocks but I want to run through it again. So this is the Christmas Magic double sided pattern paper pad and you get um, eight designs, six of each of them and it is a six by six pad. So, so you're getting 24 sheets of your pattern paper in here. The first design is almost like a lattice with a little circle right in the centre of each of the lattice points and it's kind of like um, an old gold colour on top of a, a lighter old goldy kind of colour. And then on the reverse of that sheet you have got a black background with like little four pointed stars in that old gold kind of colour. 
then the next sheet you've got is kind of like a pinstripe sort of effect with uh, the same width of white between each stripe but each of the old gold stripes differs in width so it goes large small large small um, all the way across perfect for adding strips of double sided to use your glitter with adding dots of your glue with your fine tip applicator um, to add your confetti onto or also just doodling with your um, new dot pens as well and then on the back of that sheet we've got a black background with the two variations of that old gold kind of colour in poker dots on there and actually that polka dot size is probably the middle size of confetti yeah I think that's slightly larger and that's the uh, large size of confetti so possibly the middle size of confetti would work perfectly on that if you wanted to stick them over the top to give a real sparkly effect to your pattern paper then the next sheet is this kind of um, darker old gold colour with diagonal thin black stripes going across like a pinstripe kind of look and on the back of that we have a white background with um, old gold and black triangles in a sort of regimented pattern but but the regimented pattern kind of changes so it goes black gold black this way but then you've got two rows that are the same one row that shifted two rows that are the same one row that shifted and then the final piece of patterned paper is um, this again subtle sort of old gold colour with the darker pattern on top and I showed in the um, craft kit video that you could like doodle around that design and make some floral patterns in there as well and then the back of this sheet of paper is my favourite it's this gorgeous um, diagonal plaid kind of pattern or tartan almost uh, with a back, black background and then the two different colours of old gold crisscrossing over the top of it so really really pretty and again those um, squares in there are just screaming out for like a piece of confetti you could put the circular confetti in there or you could put the tiny stars in there as well to really like amplify this patterned paper too and then finally we have got the brand new craft perfect so there are five new craft perfect pieces of card none of them are actually textured they're all specialty ones that we're getting so it's really nice actually um, to see a really lovely selection of new uh, specialty ones to add into the collection I've only got this small piece of this one this one is called Snowbound and if you recognize or if you remember Santa's hat from the Santa's workshop colour trend um, it was a red version of this so it's got like tiny little hash marks that go in different directions all over the background and this is that beautiful white pearl and it's almost got a little bit of a green reflection to it as well so it'll go really nicely with your um, clear confetti using it in more of like the clear fashion um, they'll go really perfectly together those two so that is your snowbound cardstock then we have heart of gold which um, I said in the kit video as well I thought we already had this in our collection like, but we've never had gold hearts onto black cardstock I think we only had um, rose gold hearts onto white craft cardstock so it's really lovely to have this variation as well and you can not only do you, can you use this in like its entirety like for example the one that I showed you earlier um, you know and just putting some little tiny nouveau drops in between all of the different hearts you don't have to use a full piece of it like this just one strip whether it is a horizontal strip or a diagonal strip um, really sort of amplifies your card as well and it'll make this piece of paper um, or this piece of card go a lot further just using it in little strips to add those little accents onto your projects then the next sheet of card is called Cosmic Vista which is kind of like um, black with like speckles or um, sort of like shards within it of the gold kind of metallic sort of printing on there it's really pretty this one I really like this and it's um it, it definitely could be very galaxy as well if you sprinkled in some of those stars on there or added in a few like shooting stars or something you could definitely turn this into a really galaxy kind of finish for a card then we also have Starlit Sky um, which I think is fantastic and I said in my um, craft kit video sorry to keep going back to the craft kit video but I remember saying when I was showing you this card it kind of looks like somebody brushed um, glacier paste all over the cardstock and I didn't know there was going to be a black glacier paste in this colour trend because I hadn't seen um, any of the, the colour trend at that point but it does kind of look 
like you've added glacier paste to it so if you didn't want to stretch to this cardstock you could just buy that glacier paste and actually turn your normal black card into this beautiful kind of uh, starlit sky kind of version of cardstock just using your glacier paste as well and then the final sheet is the mirror card which is the venetian gold so it's a really gorgeous gold color and it is different to the other golds that we already have in the craft perfect um, high gloss mirror card we have two other ones i think it's it's called polished gold and harvest gold and I think polished gold is like a typical you know like a bright gold kind of colour and harvest gold is slightly more on the the warmer almost like to towards a coppery kind of gold whereas this is more of like a white gold kind of a colour so really really pretty um, and those are all of the card stocks and then finally before I lose my voice because I've been talking too much um, I've got two examples showing you um, how to use some of the card stocks and the patterned papers so this one was from that kit video because it's got the stamp and the um, uh, Dymo sentiment on it but this is using lots of the papers um, from this colour trend there's a few extras thrown in there that were part of the kit but um, this is just one of my typical backgrounds that I always love to do when we have a colour trend because it just shows all of the um, cardstock and pattern paper off so brilliantly and how perfectly it all goes together just using little strips of this so when you've had a play with um, all of your cardstock you've been die cutting stuff you know doing all sorts of different bits and pieces any of your little strips that you have left over you can do this kind of background with and I made a card the other day um, a similar background but I moved the strips further apart so if you didn't have as many of these strips left and you didn't want to cut into more patterned paper or cardstock to make some more strips move them further apart and then bring in your glitter or sprinkle a few stars in first and then fill it full of glitter to fill in those spaces um, and then you know you're going to have a full background then but you haven't had to cut into any new sheets of cardstock to get those little scraps to make the background as well so that's one way of using your patterned papers and then this one um, is a technique I've done uh, relatively recently where instead of if you have um, strips left over this is more if you have random rectangles left over so I've just got a random piece of green here um, imagine this is one of these colours that I've got left over I would cut it into you know a sort of rectangle shape like this uh, maybe straighten up that side as well and then just take your long bladed pair of scissors or you could use your deco edge trimmer or your paper trimmer whatever you prefer and just cut at a slight angle and change your angle as you're cutting them so you get different sort of quadrilateral shapes out of it you could even do this with triangles as well you could turn them into triangles but then you have all of these different sort of shard pieces that you could just piece the same color back together to make a really cool background or you can mix and match it with all of your different pieces from all the different scraps that you had um, and create a really cool background like this and these shards here are leftover pieces of a double-sided adhesive sheet so I did exactly the same thing cut them into those random quadrilateral shapes stuck a few of them in took the backing off used my um, embellishment tool to place on a few of these stars and then I covered the rest in that glitter to add the rest of the you know the design to those elements so um, so many different ways of using your leftovers from all of your papers obviously your main use for your um, your cardstock and your papers is probably going to be your die cutting. Um, maybe it's a sentiment, maybe it's a, a lovely focal element, maybe it is a panel on a box. You're, but you're always going to have those leftovers left over. And I know not all of all of the time you don't have strips left over. You often have really weird shapes. I mean, even if you just had a piece that was this size, you could cut it into at least three pieces. And some of these I have only used three pieces. Like there's one, two, three of that I've used three pieces of the um, double-sided adhesive there's three pieces of that um, snowbound cardstock in there so um, even if you only have small scraps as well you can still get a really cool background out of it so I really wanted to show that idea for this video as well before I end the video, I don't have, you probably noticed, I don't have the two rolls of ribbon that are part of this colour trend as well. I don't think they're even available to buy yet. I think they've had trouble getting them in stock. Um, but they are Glamour Gold, which is 3mm in width, so I think that's one of their narrow double satin um, ribbons. Um, and they also have the Pearl Noir, which is 16mm wide, so I presume that's one of their Organza ribbons as well, but I don't have those to show you, but I thought I'd just mention um, that there should be ribbons at some point as well to go with this colour trend. 
So, um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video for Tonic's Christmas Magic colour trend, which is the second colour trend of 2022, and it contains all of your Nouveau goodies, your Craft Perfect goodies, and everything in between, really. You've got embossing powders, you've got Nouveau drops, you've got Dream drops, Vintage drops, glitter drops, stone drops, you've got washi tape, glacier paste, mica mist, expanding mousse, glitter and my favourite the confetti as well. So you're going to have so much fun playing with this colour trend if you've already got your hands on it or if you want to get hold of it there will be as many links as I can put in the description below the video and there'll also be picture links on my blog post. I always link my blog post below the video as well so if you click on the link to my Crafty Potential blog or if you just google Crafty Potential blog um, um, you should be able to find it and it will have little pictures of each of them so you don't have to remember um, what I called anything um, as I was talking through it. You can just see, oh, that's the Glitter Nouveau drop, that's the, the Dream drop and whatever. Um, so you should be able to find everything if you're looking for a specific item as well. So really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I think this ended up being quite a bit longer than I was hoping it would be. Um, but thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and thank you so much for watching it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!